Treatment of hypertonicity using sensory stimulation in your TheraTouch EX4 or CX4 combo unit. In this approach, we're gonna use a symmetrical biphasic waveform. And the treatment approach is to provide a sensory level stimulation to help reduce hypertonicity of the biceps. The mechanism of action is a gating mechanism at the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. We talk about the clinical example, it's hypertonicity in the biceps of the patient that is status post-stroke. The electrodes will be placed on the hypertonic biceps. When we talk about dosing of your intensity level, you want to increase the intensity to a tingling sensation that does not produce a muscle contraction or pain, but promotes a decrease in resistance to gentle stretching and allows for improved active elbow extension. I'm gonna go ahead and start the treatment and then I'll transfer over to the stool and work on some passive range of motion exercises that speaks to this protocol. First, you're gonna select electrotherapy, manual operation, biphasic, symmetrical biphasic, and we wanna make sure that we select the appropriate channel that you're using, in this case, channel one, we're going to adjust the frequency to 100 pulses per second. We're going to adjust the phase dur duration to 80 microseconds. And we're going to have an on-off time of continuous, which is what it's set at as a default. We already have the protocol pulled up on the screen. I'm simply going to touch the screen where the milliamps option is, highlight it, and now I'm going to increase the amplitude again to a sensory level stimulation. So I'll have the patient let me know when you start to feel that stimulation, that sensory tingling sensation. Okay. And because we're in a continuous mode, the timer has already started. So now I can go ahead and transfer over to the stool. And as the stimulation starts to take effect, it'll start the, the biceps itself and the hypertonic of the bicep will start to relax and I can gently move into more elbow extension as I work with the patient. The time that it takes may vary per patient and how much hypertonicity is involved but you'll notice that nice gentle movements will actually help move the patient's elbow into more extension. If I move it too quickly, it could re react, or the patient could react and activate those stretch reflectors of the bicep and force it to contract up a little bit. I'm gonna turn the treatment off, stop the treatment, Talk about just a clinical consideration. Once the patient begins to experience a reduction in hypertonicity in the biceps, you want to encourage activation of the triceps in a therapeutic exercise and functional task to promote that improved elbow extension. So what we just did was more of a passive range of motion, but you could start to incorporate more functional activities while you're using this electrotherapy protocol.